Good morning everybody. Welcome to the sun trying to get out in Weymouth. It's Thursday morning. It is 22.11 and do you remember my four locks, one key? They all rusted so I've had to change my locks again and now I've now got four locks, four keys. Right, first of all, I found something to do with them stones. Not the little stones, but the bigger stones. I've just brought them down from the garden to here. I've just been given lots and lots. There's loads all layered underneath there of this plastic. So what I'm going to do is put it on my bed and burn holes every foot away so that it will keep the moisture in, the weeds from growing, hopefully. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I've left my blooming tripod at home, so I'm back on my selfie stick. But this, there's a piece, you probably can't see it properly, there's a piece there and I believe that will fit on this bed. So I'm going to pull that chard out, level it off a bit and put the plastic on there and the bricks will hold the plastic down. That's the theory. I've got one of these burner torches and... Once I decide what's going to go where, see this little raised bed that I did look. I've got a piece on that. Just need to put two bricks there. I, I'm going to have to get some kind of, you know, them pegs that you put in to hold it down. I haven't got any at the minute. So I'm just using these bricks. But look at that fantastic and then like I said if I burn holes in it then everything's in place where it's gonna be now I can do half of that because of the garlic I can do this but don't really want to only do it, you know, that square. I really want to come right out here, but I can't now because of the peas. Oh, I should have got this earlier. I do. I can't do that because I've put the onions, shallots in. I can't do that because I've got the leeks. But... I can do this and I might be able to work around them that I've put in. I can do half of it anyway. They're in quite narrow strips, about 120 centimetres. So I can put one there, one there and one there. One, two, three. I think I've got enough and there is one that actually stretches from one side to the other of this of this bed so right I'm going to get this piece and put it in the brassica cage that has got some planted in already because that's quite a wide piece ok so that's that bit in there that's all done which has left all this space, I could try and um, get another piece and patch over them, but I'll see how far I get. I know I ain't got loads and loads and loads, but I've got loads, see? Oh, and I really desperately do need them stakes that go in there to hold it down, rather than the bricks, otherwise I'm going to be tripping up over them. That's a shame, that one is just that little bit too narrow. But I will have to cut a bit off the bottom here. And I will put it 
underneath there. You're probably all thinking, how are you going to get slugs and snails under there? There is loads and loads of frogs here. And they will get under there, don't you worry. And also, what I'm going to do is, I've got some of these washing up scourers. And if I open one up, oh, why haven't I got my tripod, look. If I open one up, hang on a sec. Right, that's the best I can do. If I open one up, like this, if you cut it in half, not with a good pair of scissors, obviously, because it'll blunt them. And these are definitely not a good pair of scissors. And curl that up again, I can put that over the plant. And curl this up again. How did that go? Like this. There we go. I can put that over the plant and that will stop the slugs from getting to it. Hopefully. I hope you got that. Just see if I can show you. With this one. I can't do it one-handed. Hang on. Do it like that. And with the plastic over it, the slugs and snails shouldn't be able to get in. And as it gets bigger anyway, I'll be cutting the bottom leaves off to stop them. And then the top of it should be okay. So I'm going to keep your fingers crossed with this one. We'll see, won't we? Right, that's that one done for now. Like I said, once I get them pokey things that will go in, I have to get long ones. Um, yeah, it'll it'll tie it all down then. That'll be brilliant. And like I said, I've got that burny thing that can burn uh, holes in for where I'm going to plant something. And yeah, that's that one done. Right. Where did I get to? Yeah, so I did, I did that one, didn't I? I've done that one, but I haven't done the, where the cabbages are. Oh, excuse me. I've done this one. And now I'm on to this one. So I've got a massive sheet there. So I'm going to cut that there. This is going to be... A little bit short. I really want to be able to tuck it right under there. So we'll see what we've got left on this bit here. Even if I do it on patches, I'm going to have to buy a lot of them pegs. If I'm going to keep it down. Yeah, but that'll be okay, I think. We'll see. Let's get on it. Right, that's that bit done. I mean, brilliant. And I'll tell you what, even though the sun ain't actually out, when I've been picking this plastic up, it's warm. So that it has got heat to it already. Like I said, I'm going to correct that bit when I get um, them steaky things. And I should have enough to do this bit here. Because there were broad beans planted in it, but... I think the pigeon have eat, pigeons have eaten them, and I can't see any more coming up. So, and with the bits that I've got left, I will probably do um, the middle of this and not worry about getting right to the edge because of the beans. I shall just do that, and hopefully I'll get some more later. Right, well, I'm down at the end of the garden. I've only ever actually planted daffodil bulbs once. 
and here they are and I believe Mr Ratty could have been chomping on them there's three coming up and all three have been eaten what do you reckon is it a rat could it be pigeons blasted pigeons what do you reckon and my sign is all weathered look it's missing an eye so I might have to either take that down and touch it up or just make a new one I've only had it on there a year right let's go and have a look and see what else I can do well I've just been given I'm absolutely puffed out a barrel full of well it's soil and compost mixed together and I think I've got one big stone in there and half of one of these has a hole in the bottom but if I put it in its permanent position and some more soil Mr Sunshine has come out to play another bit of soil in there I've covered that over as well I was going to do my parsnips but I'm not going to now so so <sighs> I'm absolutely shattered I am I'm not used to this Now I could put that somewhere, I might put it right down there, no. Let me get me um, tape measure out and I'm going to measure where it could go. Because I could either grow potatoes in it or I could put a tree in it. So let me first of all see where it's going to go. Right, I've found somewhere for it to go. And I'm thinking at the end of these paths is just a dead space. Now that is 60 centimetres long and that is just over 60 centimetres. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that plastic back pull all the stones back and put it there and all that soil that I've got I can put in it and I might just plant my potatoes in there or some of them yeah right I've pulled them stones back and the thing that I had underneath I'm gonna have to cut that and then what I'll do that's pretty level I shall just fill it um, a couple of feet, oh, a couple of feet, maybe up to here with soil and then when my potatoes are ready to go in. Yeah, that'd be brilliant. And I might even put a tree in it one day. Right, I've put some compost in the bottom. So that's now ready for potatoes to go in. I've got them all at home. So I shall bring some down and put them in there. I don't know what type. I've got first earlies and second earlies. They won't need to go in that deep. But I've got some... Oh, what do you call the next ones? Yeah. Late ones. Main crop. I can't remember which ones I've got, but I'll put them in there as well. I need more stones. It, it's, I've got bare patches everywhere where the stones have just settled. So I'm going to have to get some more. But that will be done bit by bit, I think. The first thing I've got to get is them stakes uh, to go in 
to tie these down. I'm going to roll that up and put it away. So I think I've done enough here for today. So I'm going to bid you all a goodbye. That sun keeps coming out. It's lovely and warm around here. Right, from almost sunny Weymouth, I'm going to bid you all a goodbye. Bye-bye.